Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host Adeze Adwaka and these are the headlines. Rema donates 105 million naira to a do church that opened a shop for his mom. Brad Pitt and girlfriend Inez de Ramon spotted in Venice after film festival work schedule to avoid Angelina Jolie running. Cardi B denies shading Nicki Minaj's sex offender husband by having the word pedophile in maternity shoot. King Charles's foundation unveils a new luxury fashion collection and Jenny Ortega pays tribute to Michael Keaton's iconic Beetlejuice talks in chic blazer and blood red platforms. And on our trending segment, Afrobeat sensation Rema has repaid a Christ Embassy church in Benin, Edo State, for the kindness shown to him and his family. The singer made a donation of 105 million naira to various organs of the church during a service he attended on Sunday, September 1, 2024. Rema expressed gratitude to the church for its guidance and support for coming through for his family after the death of his father. His gesture was captured in a video that has now gone viral online. I am not here to give myself any accolades or glory. I am here to give God the glory. I feel like it is important to give back because the church has embraced and prayed for me and has kept me very consistent with my spirit. The artist further narrated how the church supported his family during a difficult time after his father's passing. Now this is such a huge move by Rema. Come on, 105 million naira in this Nigerian economy is not something that is just so easy to come by, you know. It's not small money. So Rema really did something really big for this church. But then I love it when, you know, churches that are supposed to preach good things and give back to humanity are doing, you know, the Lord's work. I really, really love it. This church really came through for Rema after his dad passed. So it's such a good thing that Rema is now giving back at this time. Now that he has blown or now that he has made it, you know, coming back to remember those who helped you when you were struggling, when you were going through a lot, is something that a lot of people don't actually do. You know, there are so many cases of celebrities that have come out. They've made it in life, made so much money. And then they don't treat their friends, those who help them to get to the point where they are today, treat them like they don't even know them. They see them and say, like, uh, hi, you know, <laughs> give them attitude and they go back. But now we're talking about a church, you know, God's house helped them. This is, you know, I think churches like this are worthy of emulation. So I think they really deserve this money, to be honest. They really, really deserve it. This is also a, uh, you know, wake up call for churches and mosques out there. It is not just about collecting money from your congregation and from those who work for you and always collecting, collecting. Sometimes help, give back, because you never know, to be honest. God's grace follows anybody and it could be anybody. This is not just about Rema. It could be anybody in your church. It could be a worker. It could be just a member of a congregation. Help. I mean, that's what the lost work is about. Helping and humanity, right? So give back and definitely, you never know. When that person makes money in life, we all hope and pray that they come back and, you know, give back. But this is actually a very lovely move and it is worthy of emulation. And on our sports segment, Brad Pitt and girlfriend Inez de Ramon were all smiles as they arrived at the annual Venice Film Festival on Saturday. The 60-year-old actor arrived ahead of the Sunday premiere of his and George Clooney's new action comedy movie, Wolves. Clooney and his wife, Amal, appeared at the fourth day of the world-renowned festival as well. Their arrival at the 81st Venice International Film Festival comes after artistic director Alberto Barbera revealed Pete and his ex-wife, Angelina Jolie, were strategically scheduled to avoid any chance of running into one another. An insider states that the exes did not make the request, but that the event organizers were wise enough to realize. I think it's actually really funny. You know, anytime you have especially a bad breakup with your ex, you just be praying to God, oh Lord, I don't want to meet my ex outside. And especially on a bad day when you're not well dressed. You know this thing of the day you decide not to dress well, that's the day you see all your enemies. That's the day you see your exes. So it's always good to always go out looking really nice. And this is a typical example of that, you know. Angelina and Brad didn't really end, you know, things on very good terms. And I think they're just trying to just stay away from each other. And I will not lie, Ines is really pretty. She's really beautiful. And, you know, she compliments Brad, even though people on social media are like, oh, Angelina is better. Angelina elevates Brad Pitt each time he's on the red carpet. But for me, I feel Ines is also really beautiful. Angelina Jolie is a goddess on her own. And, you know, 
she also slays the red carpet as well but this whole ex thing is just so funny to me and i think the organizers didn't just want any drama they just said angelina come on your own day brad pitt just come with your own day which you know your new girlfriend and all i think it's actually a very smart and strategic move really really nice but then brad pitt and his girlfriend they look nice together and angelina a goddess as always and on to our editorial segment cardi b denied shading Nicki minaj's sex offender husband Kenneth Petty by having the word pedophile in her new maternity photo shoot. The WAP rapper who is expecting her third child shared the photos on Instagram on Sunday. In the photos, Cardi bared her baby bomb in an open blue and black leather trench coat, a grey leather push-up bra and thigh-high leather boots while sitting on a motorcycle. Several eagle-eyed fans noticed the word pedophile was written in white graffiti over the word homesick behind the soon-to-be mom of three. Several social media users thought the graffiti art was meant as shade to Cardi's arch nemesis husband Petty, who became a registered sex offender after being convicted of attempted rape in the first degree in April 1995 for assaulting a then 16-year-old girl named Jennifer Hu. However, Cardi denied using her maternity shoe to throw shots at Minaj's family. On Monday, she wrote her response to the allegations on X. First of all, we literally picked a random street because paparazzi was hounding us everywhere. This was supposed to be my original first picture and we had to edit the photos in minutes because the shoot got leaked. Second, I am always with the STS but i'm not using my maternity shoot to be funny i think fans need to really take a chill pill to be honest i know that cardi b and Nicki minaj they don't really like have good history i know there was you know this incident of fights between them one throwing her shoe one even giving one you know a bomb on the head i'd be on the eye something like that i know they have like bad history but i don't think cardi b will go so low to use her maternity shoot to you know um spike reactions or you know spite Nicki minaj and her husband i think she wouldn't really go that low she can't do that and especially during her maternity shoot if maybe on a random day she wore it and then posted it boldly and said okay this is what i'm posting maybe people can you know instigate that or say that but this one is her maternity shoot it's something that you know she would look back and say okay this is the shoot i had when i was pregnant for my child so i don't think she would you know do that on purpose right but then that word pedophile is actually not even something good to associate someone with. I know Kenneth Perry always just has, you know, bad gist about him all the time online. But yeah, for me, that's my own opinion. I don't think Cardi will go that low to do that. And on our new collection, King Charles Foundation is launching a new luxury capsule collection created by budding artists trained in traditional techniques. The King's Foundation, in collaboration with Net Porter, has unveiled a ready-to-wear 13-piece collection designed by fashion graduates taking part in their modern artisan training program. Items in the collection include a lounge shirt and trouser in a khaki-colored inspired by Balmoral landscapes, a smock waist top reflecting the timeless look of a historical tunic, and a bias cut slip dress which aims to evoke the wild scenery in parts of Scotland. All pieces were handcrafted at the King's Foundation's headquarters, Dumfries House in Ayrshire, in a specialist textiles workshop. Add on, spicy or not, Beetlejuice star Jenna Ortega continues to pay homage to the beloved original via her show-stopping outfits. While attending the film's photo call in London, England, the actress gave a fashion nod to co-star Michael Keaton and his iconic Beetlejuice talks by wearing a chic, oversized burgundy blazer and blood red platform heels. Ortega paired an Alexander McQueen Resort 2025 jacket with red leggings and matching red Lesila Uma slingback palms, harkening back to Keita's memorable burgundy suit worn during the original 1998 film's wedding scene. I really love it. Like I always say, I love it when celebrities pay homage to people who were there before them, especially when they're doing a remake or a comeback of the same movie that was done years ago. I mean, Jenny has always been a fashionista. She kills it. And I love how she pairs black. She's such a black girl. I often wonder if Jenny's, you know, color is black. Black and red really suits her so well. So she doing this paying homage to people who were there before her and, you know, coming back to do this remake and slaying the red carpet the way she's doing it really really is good she is slaying and killing it 
well done jenny we want to see more looks when you know go on red carpets for this particular movie i really am looking forward to seeing what she's gonna wear next and don't forget to catch us up at spice tv underscore africa until the next episode do have a lovely time bye